All right, y'all, coming to you live. This is my very, oh, what am I saying live? This is recording. Blah. All right, y'all, this is my first tutorial video. It isn't a big one. It's not earth shattering. But if you're like me, you went crazy. You purchased a bunch of these Home Depot five foot skeletons, maybe even in a six pack. Uh, but there are a couple things that I don't like about this guy right here. One is I can't keep his mouth open. His mouth continues to close. Not a fan of that. And I also can't rotate his head. So in this video, I am gonna be showing you how to take him apart and how to fix that in, if you want. I know I do, so we'll see. Uh, pretty much it's simple. We are gonna take off, there are six screws in the back side of the head. We are gonna take those off and then these two in the neck. And then I will show you what next steps are. So give me one second while I readjust my camera. All right, so here we go. We are going to grab a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna take off this try me button i don't need that so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna take off these screws just bear with me as i go through this and again the intent is to get these guys to rotate their heads and also keep the mouth or the jaw open in the event that you want to maybe do something different with them you don't have to do this this is just me being crazy and looking at some of these props and saying hey this maybe could have been done a little bit better so i'm sure home depot wanted it this way but i don't so here we go we're almost done with the screws so this is the last one of the six and then i will take off the two screws that are on his neck or behind his neck and these are little ones so please make sure you don't lose these i'm just going to put them on the side don't want to lose these little guys all right so here we go got got it open so the first thing you see when you open it up is that it has this little tab here and they're on both sides so what i what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab some cutters and i'm just going to dig in there as, as probably as low as i can and i'm just going to cut i'm going to cut that thing off so once i cut it off i'm going to do the same thing with the other side as you can see it's got this little pin here as well right there that we are going to take off so as low as i can get and these will wear down once i put them back in all right, so now that fixes the ability for the skeleton's head to rotate, which is what we want. The second thing is again, this jaw mechanism. And if you notice here, there are some screws. There's supposed to be three or maybe not, but you see that there is a spot right here. So all I'm going to do is these end ones is I'm gonna take the screw off the middle and move it over to this bottom side on each one. So let's start doing that. So let me show you. I'm gonna take off this screw here and I'm quite simply just going to move it to the other spot because this is screwed onto the rotating rod of the jaw, which I want it to rotate. I don't want it to stay in one place or to force shut. So again, I'm not sure if these were assembled incorrectly or if this was Home Depot's intention, neither here nor there. I just know that I would like for my skeleton's jaw to open up and that's what I intend to do. Okay, so now that we got the screws in place, now if I just put him together temporarily or at least flip him over, you'll see that now his mouth stays open. Close it, open it, position anywhere you want which is what I want to do. And then we are just going to put it back together. So we're going to put this one right back where it goes. Put the screws back on and you're good to go. All right, and we're back. He's all back together. As you can see, I uh, now, as I mentioned before, his jaw stays open. I can close it, open it, whatever I want. But more importantly, I can now rotate his head. So a lot of times what you'll, what you'll see is at first, when you first cut it, it'll get stuck a little bit. 
Um, but that's good. That's okay, because then that way when you position him somewhere, he stays where he's at, and he's not just rotating randomly. So this guy will go all the way around if I want him to. So again, this is just a quick modification that you can do with your skeleton. Uh, hopefully one day I can figure out where to get some timers from and convert this guy from on and off to actually having a six hours on, you know, maybe or a four hour on timer and go from there. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun.